How long is the journey from here to here? Just think, dry fasting for spiritual growth, it's like a journey. The spirituality to me means that you always are pushing off the instant of freedom, <laughs> the liberation. You're always uh, on a journey, making steps toward getting there. And dry fasting, in a way, is just cutting off all food, all water, everything. And you have so much more time to face your being, being here. That is, um, that is only where you can be at one, let's say, with truth. But you don't have to be at one with it. You already are it. So, dry fasting for spiritual growth is a, is a kind of a, a mind game by the ego. But dry fasting just for inner joy, that just to learn how to sit here with the boredom and suddenly transcend that boredom into inner joy. That's it. Without believing in your story, in your ego, in your life story, you, there would be no you. And that's also what you can realize on when you're dry fasting for long periods, is that you're not the body and you're not the mind. So whose story is it? There is no one. There is no story. All that's just a mind game. The real truth is already here. It's not perceivable by anyone. It's just what it is. This, here. It's freedom. It's complete. It's perfect. So if there's just that, there's nothing to surrender. So it's easy to drive fast. It's easy to, to just be in harmony. There is no journey to achieve to go from here to here. You're already here. But then you must say, oh, why drive fasting then? There's many reasons why you're drive fasting. But all those reasons are simply like a, a pastime. It's amazing. The other thing too is, Many, many beings seem to not enjoy suffering. And so, it happens that some suffering is mostly felt when there is like diseases or problem with too much food, and things like that. So yeah, you go on lighter diet and you realize how clear your mind gets. But when the mind is clear, that does not mean that you're one with God. Or well, that does not mean you're like in another reality. It just means that you're clear, you're here. And you're free here with yourself, with all the suffering and the sensations around you. And when I say dry fasting is, could be a highway for realizing that this is, it's a dream, once you realize that this is actually a dream, nothing actually happened either because it was a dream. So, if the mind, if the ego is itself a thought, like the me, I am, if it is a thought, when you realize that it's just a thought that's passing, it's like nothing really happened. You're still here, like you were. And that's what's it, what it is. So, it's actually easy to surrender food and water. When you start changing your perspective on it, uh, when you realize that this is a dream that lives on its own, then all of the beliefs about like nutrition and food and um, this higher self is going to help, all of those things, they're just made up stories within that dream. You'll still be fine. And you'll still be here. Believing seems to be required when you go on dry fasting for very long periods. Like after three or four days, your body starts going uh, on some other type of, like, let's say, nourishment or energy that science cannot actually describe in a way. <laughs> but it's not like it's another type of nourishment. It's the same that it's always been, even during the three days. 
you know. During the three days, you also nourished on prana or whatever you want to call this life. As soon as you can realize this, you're free. But every time you have those realizations, you are still here. So, the only highest re- thing you can like, realize is that you've never moved. You've never gone anywhere. So whatever path you're on, whatever spiritual journey you're on, whatever religion you believe in, is not taking you from, from one point to another. It's always taking you from the same place here to here. That's it. And you're free when you're one with here. So it's kind of the end of all religions. It's also the end of seeking any type of awakening or enlightenment. What I'm sharing here is not something you can try to understand, grasp. You can't remember it. It's like you don't, you don't need to remember here, right? It's always here. You are so perfect. You are so complete already being here, perfectly nourished with just here. Here is nourishing you. That's it. Here is the nourishment. Maybe you could say that. But nothing else is really nourishing you other than being at one with here. 